building a robot that talks to you. Uh, and that's me, Arthur Bacon. Um, so I I used to live in Moscow, and now I live in Ridgewood. Uh, kinda. And uh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are. Yeah, we're neighbors. Uh, yeah. uh, so, I think we all might live in Ridgewood someday. Uh, yes, so, we would. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I built this uh, home automation thing that I talked about in uh, QuinGS, and it has a Telegram chatbot uh, that accompanies it. Uh, it is, doesn't have to be a Telegram chatbot, it could be a Slack chatbot or anything else. Uh, so um, my home automation has a dashboard, and it's nice, but I needed an interface that would allow me to get like quick notifications on mobile and, uh, you know, just, I wanted to be able to talk to my house, which is, uh, which is nice. <laughs> and hear back from it sometimes. So uh, I built it, and, and uh, this is roughly how it works. You can text it, like, turn the light off, and it will say, done. And you can ask it, like, what, what's the status? So you can make, like, the temperature at your home, and, uh, yeah, uh, you can ask it about sex. I don't know, you, yeah. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so, how is this useful? Um, the, the bot, I mean, not the home animation. So, you can send it a message and get a reply instantly. You don't have to dig up the, uh, the dashboard and chats are back again. So, uh, uh, you can receive notifications. So, the bot can alert me uh, like when there's a movement in my house. Uh, good for catching thieves and uh, like your friends and uh, knowing that they made safely uh, to the apartment. Uh, notifications can also be about like fires, floods, and all like natural disasters, or maybe something good for a change, like a cat or something. <laughs> so, right, uh, bots. Uh, the, the bots also have custom keywords, which are really cool. So when I turn the light on, uh, it can ask like, in which room? Uh, I haven't gotten to this yet because I live in a studio, but I'm optimistic <laughs> about the future. Uh, so maybe uh, yeah. Uh, or if you want to order Indian food, you can uh, you can tell the bot that, and it will ask you. Uh, so you you'll say I want paneer, and it will say you which paneer, palak paneer or matar paneer or some other uh, kind of paneer. Uh, so also uh, you don't need like passwords to access your dashboard or something because you just keep a list of users that are allowed access. And once they message the bot, he already knows that they are uh, they can get in. Um, so that's nice. All right, but uh, maybe it can be even more useful. Uh, I know, right? Uh, and to answer that question, we have to go back to Richwood. Uh, uh, right. uh, so I, I didn't believe in Storm Jonas until I actually looked out the window. Uh, <laughs> I thought I've seen snow in my life, but uh, turns out I didn't. But, but, okay, uh, not the point. So my, my, my building is considered unsafe according to uh, post and delivery services. Uh, so uh, and the intercom is not working. Yes. And, uh, and and the delivery man won't call my Russian phone number, and I can't blame him. So. Uh, so he used to call me on my cell phone. It's actually a power trip with my cell phone. So I, I can't receive packages in the mail because the mail will come by and be like, "Okay, this is not safe. I'm leaving." And and leave. And USPS will let me pick up packages at the local post office, but UPS will just drive around with it for a few days and, and then, then send it back, even if I try to contact them and arrange for another delivery. Uh, so. Is this it? Will I have to like call my landlord and make him fix the intercom, which is probably impossible, or buy an American SIM card, which is ridiculous? Uh, or, or in worse, do I have to like leave the house to get the food, or, or stop ordering things online and not participate in this wonderful tradition of American consumerism? Yes. Uh, no, relax. I'm in the military, so I'm in the bot for this. Uh, and the bot texts me when the delivery person rings the door downstairs. Uh, the bot's name is Rudolf. Uh, don't don't ask. Uh, so, uh, okay, cool. Uh, how do we how do we go about creating the, the bot? We we talk to another bot. There is a bot in Telegram called Botfather, and, and you contact him and you say, okay, I want to create a new bot, and he will say, what's his name? And, and you, you chat with him and set a user pick for him, and then you get this uh, API token. Uh, this is not an actual token, so, um, and later you can use it uh, to send messages, for example, uh, this is a simple function that says message, so you, you pick a user and send in, uh, the message, and it, it forms the URL, and then it does a request, and 
pretty straightforward. You can also send photos, audio, you can send custom keyboards, as I mentioned. Uh, so the difference between uh, that and the, uh, the text in the photo is that you have to read the, uh, the photo file and send that. Uh, I know, right, Seich? Uh, yes, not 2016. Uh, <laughs> so recently uh, I've been to a Substack's uh, workshop. And since then, I've kind of been holding back on the whole new uh, uh, ES2000 something, uh, and like using large frameworks and just going back to like simple stuff, uh, which is really nice. Uh, I don't need Express. I uh, just create a server. It, yeah, it works. Uh, uh, so uh, add routes. Nice router. Great. So it checks for uh, for the token. Uh, not the Telegram token, my own token, and if uh, if it's wrong, it will just send you away, and if it's right, it will just go and send the message and the photo uh, when somebody rings the door. So it runs on the uh, DigitalOcean droplet. They may or may not be firing. Uh, so among the other apps I have there, it's the cheapest droplet for five bucks. Uh, so I run this stuff at PM2. It's, it's great. Okay, uh, but uh, who's actually going to send those requests? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> I really like uh, ESP8266. Uh, it's very cheap. It's like starting three bucks. It's got Wi-Fi. Uh, it can make secure requests, which is really nice. Uh, it's Arduino compatible, and it can deep sleep, meaning that it doesn't consume a lot of battery. It can just sleep until you need it to do something, and then it can wake up. Uh, so this is roughly the Arduino code I'm using. Uh, Reach with network. That is fun. Uh, so yeah, so downstairs I don't have my Wi-Fi from from upstairs. So I was thinking like, how do I what, what what's going on? What should I get a SIM card? And I don't know, like you know, some buy a like a router Wi-Fi extender thing, and it's costly and stuff. And then I just went to a local barber shop and I said, hey guys, can I use your Wi-Fi? <laughs> Alright, so uh, I hope you don't mind. It really doesn't consume a lot of uh, things. Uh, so, okay, it connects to Wi Fi, and we don't need a loop for that because where we're going, we don't need loops. Uh, and we send a request. So I have this uh, this, this URL that, uh, that my uh, app answers to, and it, it just sends a request like that and, and then goes to deep sleep. That's the important part down there. So once the button is pressed, it wakes up, sends a request. And then it just goes back to sleep and not doesn't consume any battery. So I flashed the ESP, attached batteries to it, and the button. Uh, actually, the button. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. No. <laughs> 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 this is and so, so this here is like a great representation of my neighborhood. So this is this macho guy here on the wall. This is a note from UPS says we couldn't deliver your package. <laughs> there we have some tarot card readings and, and here is the not working intercom with trash in it. Uh, so, but, uh, okay, pro tip, if you're gonna install a button that shouldn't track attention, pick some other color other than yellow. Uh, because, yeah, uh, it, it attracts a lot of attention. So, uh, it's a miracle I'm still here at Broken GS, not in jail. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we've been doing with my girlfriend, uh, and while people were looking around, like, looking, what, what the hell is happening? And we were, like, shoving this thing into the <laughs> intercom, and this yellow button is there, so... Uh, okay, uh, so this is what happens when somebody presses the button. I get this message, and I get the photo. Uh, so since I don't have a camera, I just send random photos of people who might be downstairs. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, so, so you might say, I won't believe it until I see it. And uh, I've got you covered with that. Uh, <laughs> so, Hello? I'd like to order one product for you. And one more. Yes. Uh, 
is really almost the end, last slide. Uh, so you, you can uh, read some stuff about Telegram bots and ESP. And uh, the code is on GitHub. Uh, slides are here. Uh, and you can follow me at arthurbacon.com. Uh, thanks. Woo!